Hello Virgo, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today we'll be taking a look at why you and your person have not communicated, okay? This reading is in reference to why there has been no contact in between the both of you. To book a private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Private readings with me are an hour long. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram, the link is below below. And as always, Virgo, not all of you watching this will identify with this message. These are general messages. They are not personal and they are not private readings. All right, let's get right into why you and your person have not communicated. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Virgo and why Virgo and their person have not communicated. Let's focus on the person that Virgo is thinking of, please. Please speak to me in reference to why Virgo and their person have not communicated. All right, let's see. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to why they haven't communicated. Please speak to me. Please speak to me in reference to why there's been no communication here. Let's focus on Virgo's person, please. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. We also have fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, more Aries energy, and I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, okay? So I feel that the reason why your person hasn't reached out to you or the reason why you've been feeling this disconnect with this person is because they feel imbalanced in some way and they feel like they've been giving to the situation more than you have is what I'm getting here, or it could be vice versa. But when we have the temperance in reverse, then obviously there's something wrong with our self-esteem. There could be self-esteem issues here. We don't feel confident enough to make choices at this time. So I feel like either you or the person that you're dealing with does not feel confident enough to come forward because of the fact that one of you feels like you're giving more to the situation than the other one is. And I feel like this overexertion here where someone is getting very tired, someone feels like they're the ones that are doing everything and they're not getting any help, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with, we're going to take a further look to see what else is going on. I'm also going to be clarifying and at the end, I'm going to pull some advice for you. So with the Queen of Swords in reverse energy, this is Libra, Gemini and Aquarius, this indicates that... Someone is obviously upset. I feel like your person is upset with you, Virgo, okay? And um, it's still something that I feel they don't articulate the way that they should, okay? So I just feel like the way that this person communicates to you that they are upset is a way that makes you just want to walk out the door and keep walking because there's a way that they come off that is very unattractive to you or um you know there could be yelling here screaming it's an energy that you would rather be away from sometimes so i just feel like with this queen of swords energy this person can be you know very volatile when it comes to um their word expression is what i'm getting and i feel that you're getting tired of that virgo and Although, you know, you feel like you have to have this loyalty for this individual, I really feel that you've been feeling that it's better to just have this separation for right now. But we're going to clarify that. With the Magician card here in reverse, I feel that your person doesn't have much faith in the fact that this can continue there's something that they are displeased with and it has to do with whatever it is that they keep trying to say to you. They're trying to get you to understand something and 
they feel like they're hitting a brick wall here. And because of what they feel is not being interpreted correctly or it's it's like it's not being received by you correctly that's how they view it and so because of that they feel like there can't be a new beginning all right they feel like you're stubborn is what i'm getting here they feel like you just don't want to listen is what i'm hearing but we are going to clarify with the eight of wands here uh aries leo sagittarius the magician card is aries energy um i feel like this person wants to communicate with you and they do want to talk to you okay but they kind of feel like you want to drop this and you want to let it go here so again um with the queen of swords energy whether male or female watching this i feel like your person thinks that they do all of the work is the energy that i get here and they are going to be communicating with you, okay? Because we do have this Eight of Wands energy, which means that they are coming toward you, um, ready to speak to you, even if you're not ready. The message or whichever form of communication it is, it's coming in. With the Four of Pentacles in reverse, I just feel like you need a break or you've needed a break for a while and you just want to release stress in some way so some of you guys may be thinking of just taking a trip going away or just simply being on your own and away for a while because it's a pretty intense energy that you're dealing with this person you know from what i'm feeling is they're very dominant okay and um at times you feel that that energy is unnecessary so let's clarify now to see what else we have here. So Spirit, please clarify this Queen of Swords energy when it comes to no contact between Virgo and the person that they're dealing with. Please clarify. Okay, so again, um, we have more Aries energy with the Magician being present here. So there's some new way of thinking that they want you to operate in. There's um, just a new frame of mind that they want you to have. It's like they're trying to change you, but I just feel that you feel there's nothing that you need to change. And that's part of the struggle here that I feel that the both of you are having is they're trying to get you to be perhaps someone who you're not. And I feel like if they're trying to get you to be someone else, then you could probably be telling them, then maybe you should go and find someone who's like that because I'm not going to do that or be that way. Okay, so there's this level of if they are feeling unsatisfied, then I feel like you're telling them to just go, Virgo. That's the energy I get. All right, let's clarify the magician in reverse because you got it in the upright so it's like they want you to have clarity about something they want you it's like whatever they want they're very dominant and that for you is a turnoff you know it's a, it's a selfish energy that i'm getting here okay so with the three of swords in reverse okay i just really feel that this isn't as painful as it used to be for you because you're getting tired. And once you get to that point, it's going to be easier to walk away. Okay. Um, that's why I always say, you know, take as much as you can take because eventually there's going to be a time where you can't take this anymore. You know, I just feel like you're getting closer and closer to that. And um, once you get tired, Tired of the pain, tired of the drama, tired of being blamed, tired of, you know, um, you always being the problem is what I'm getting here. That's what I feel that their energy is saying to you, you know. I feel like, you know, they always blame you for something without, you know, taking recognition of their own actions. But I feel like if they want to stay with you, then you're willing to work on it. But 
if they want to keep on with the same drama that they pull, then you're tired of that and you're ready to have a new life is what I get. All right, let's clarify this Eight of Wands. Obviously, they want to talk to you here with the Eight of Wands. I definitely see an attempt on their behalf of reconcile. Let's see. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands. Okay? So, double here. So I feel like if they do communicate with you, you are going to be receptive and you guys are going to be communicating with each other to improve this situation is the energy that I get. But they really want this to work. However, the problem that I feel that you're having with them is that while they try to play this blame game all the time, they don't look at themselves and how they contribute to the issues that you guys have as a couple or you know as a connection so um in order to fix it it's it's not only um a one-sided point of view like this person needs to also uh take a look at their actions and their words i really feel an emphasis on their words the way that they communicate and the things that they say to you virgo you know that really makes you tight is what i'm getting here really upsets you so let's clarify this four of pentacles in reverse i feel like you want to let this go i feel like you love this person and you have tried your best but at this point i just feel like it's too much for you that's what i'm getting you're tired let's see what else okay so we have the six of cups in reverse the three of wands in the upright and then we have the King of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, so I feel, Virgo, with this energy, with this water sign energy here, that whenever things start to fall apart between you and this person, you start to think about your other possibilities. And there's other people around you that encourage you about your other possibilities, whether it be your friend or whether it be... A family member okay and you kind of are starting to believe in the possibility of you having a brand new life elsewhere if this person doesn't switch it up because I feel like you're willing to still give this another try but you're exhausted I'm really getting this like overexertion here from you like you feel like this can't continue Three of Wands, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, Fire Sign, is wondering what's up with you, you know? That, that's what I hear them saying. Like, they are confused, just not understanding. They need to do some self-work, okay, um, is the energy that I get here. I feel that... They want you to see things the way that they do, but they need to, again, um, have more accountability when it comes to the events that have happened that have turned this relationship into what it is. It has potential because I feel like it, it hasn't been the most terrible, but when you come to asking why you keep running into the same situations, then, you know, how are we communicating with each other? How are we um, resolving the issues? Are we doing anything to fix what caused the last problem? Or are we continuing to behave in a manner that can allow that situation to happen again? So, you know... Those are some of the questions that need to be asked here. I feel like it's one of you, you know, that that doesn't really believe in this. I really feel it's more you than them. All right. Somebody just wants to give up 
I mean, I feel like the both of you are going to be talking in the future here about what's going on because I have the Eight of Wands twice here. So there's like back and forth communication between you and your person. However, one of you is growing very drained here. The Six of Cups is in reverse. Okay. Um, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Please book your private reading with me if you're interested. All of that info is below. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. And before you leave, let me pull your advice. Spirit, please give me advice for Virgo. Please give me advice for Virgo, please. Okay, here it is. So your advice here says, which is the two of Michael, okay? It says, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. So this is a very good sign that there is a coming together between in your person. Um, you know, I just feel that if you guys can just compromise on some of these things, then there won't be much of an issue, you know? So that's what I have. Thank you for watching and take care.